Last episode we mounted clutch and its cover, so we gotta slow down a little as we are going to install the brake. Let's mount the brake. Um, my um, brake actuating shaft has been worn, so I'm using a new one. I'm greasing it and then put uh, new um, O-rings on it. Both O-rings are applied. Then we need the, the brake arm, which is also a new piece. We need the spring and the spline. Now um, put in the shaft and then the next part is the, is the lever. Then put in the spring. Push it all the way through. Secure it with the, with the spline. Okay, lock the spring. Let's take the back plate. Premium quality. Now take these rings. Also need the big ring. Dann mix ich mal wünsche ich mir ein fett Pinsel. And these tiny three screws. Now I, I take the, the new SIP um, performance brake um, pads. Hello darkness, my old friend. I'm taking this SIP performance brake pads. Um, it's gonna be a, an old Vespa type conversion, so it's gonna be built for 8 inch wheels. To mount the brake pads, uh, first, try if they fit on the studs. So these fit very easy, no problem. Then um, okay, I do it like this. First um, the spring, second the sheet metal pieces. And now I, I put, put it on only more or less a few millimeters and Sit down the second on the other side, then it's done. And it's working. Now the Omega clips. The brake is completely mounted. The Omega clips are in their place. The spring is in its place. The, both of the brake pads uh, with the sheet metal um, sliding pieces and they work. As brake drum I choose one of the new SIP products, the performance brake drum for 8 inch wheels. Um, we also need this flange which is perfectly fitting. Grease for the oil seal again. Because it's a, a Lusso gearbox, Italian model Lusso, we need this um, thin washer and we need the big nut with 24 millimeters wrench size. Um, my suggestion is to apply thread lock because um, it is known that this uh, late model's nut sometimes gets loose. So in this moment it's impossible to, to mount it really strong, but so it's, it's already fixed. Then just take the brake drum, put it down here. Then you can already make a first, first test if it's working. This is working. Then you need the two small sunk screws. 
and put them to fix the brake drum. Now it runs free. For the tightening of the main shaft um, nut, tightening of the brake drum, the list says um, 90 to 110 newton meters. And actually it's easier to do it in the, in the vehicle once you can really apply the, the brake then it's easy to, to go there with a big wrench. But um, in this case as we have the big studs here it's also possible to do it with this, this mounting lever. This has been 110 newton meters. Then we need the basket for the clutch and uh, the spline again. We are looking for a position where the spline is fitting and then we can close it with a screwdriver. Now the left hand side of the engine is completely ready. The right hand side too but not um, mounting of the kickstart and the ignition, but we can do it when it is in the vehicle, the engine. Um, so let's see from top and from the bottom of the engine. I think they're still mis missing the carburetor, but um, in this case, uh, we will not apply the carburetor because we, make, uh, we put a cylinder on it with reed valve induction. And also we have to close the oil bores. To close the induction, we got this piece from the cylinder kit. For the carburetor screws, it says um, 16 to 20 Newton meters. Okay, now the screws to apply oil and release the oil. Um, this one applies to the bottom of the engine. Maybe it's a good idea to apply the screw only if oil is inside of the engine. Okay, next step is to mount the cylinder. Alrighty, in the next and final episode of the PX series, we'll show you how to assemble the cylinder. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Plus, activate the bell so you won't miss out on any future projects.